Hello everyone, my name is Ashutosh Pahogna. I am working as a scientist with Indian Computer Emergency Response Team. In this session, we will discuss about the cyber security initiative in India, the different activities and program initiated by the government of India, different initiatives taken by the Indian Computer Emergency Response Team. So, as you may be aware about the Digital India program launched by the government of India, uh, that program is have centered on the three key visions that is the digital infrastructure as a utility to every citizen, governance and services on demand and digital empowerments of citizens. Cyber security and data privacy issues are crucial for success and operation of the programs function launched under Digital India. It's the cyber security and the privacy are the very very important part to make the that program Digital India the successful. Various initiatives are launched by Indian Computer Emergency Response Team to counter the cyber threats. If we look at the cyber security, there is a dynamic landscape. So threats are evolving and changing how they hit the target. So if we see the that dynamic landscape, there is an expanding role and implementation of technology across sectors in the country, including the critical sectors like uh, health, energy, water, oil and gas and others. Volume and complexity of information technology ecosystem in the country. So that's increasing volume and complexity, growth in volume of transactions and sensitive data exchange. There is a growth in volume of transaction including the financial transaction and the sensitive data is exchanged in the transactions. There is a rapidly changing security and threat landscape. The new type of threats are emerging on a daily basis. There is a paradigm shift in attack vectors and nature of their launch. So how the attackers are targeting that is also changing. Reduce cyber security risk exposure of IT infrastructure and ecosystem in the country. Responsibility to ensure proper process, technology, governance, structure and compliance to laws and regulatory requirements. So this is the uh, responsibility to ensure the proper processes, technology, governance, structure and compliance to law and regulatory requirements. So one of the initiative is the National Cyber Security Policy by Government of India, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. So what is the need of national cyber security policy? So the need is to facilitate creation of secure computing environment and enabling adequate trust and confidence in electronic transaction. How that trust and confidence will come in the electronic transaction is by securing it. Guide stakeholders actions to the various parties operating in the that ecosystem for protection of cyberspace. That policy will provide that guidance. Outline a roadmap to create a framework for comprehensive, collaborative, and collective response to issues in cybersecurity. That will provide a roadmap to create a framework that will help us to collective response again against the cyber threats. Adopt appropriate strategy both at national and international level. So cyber space is not having any fixed boundaries. So we need to have a appropriate strategies at a national and international level to counter the cyber threats. So national cyber security policy articulate our concerns. What are our concerns are understanding priorities for action as well as directed efforts. It's provide confidence and reasonable assurance to all stakeholders in the country, government, businesses, industry and general public and global community about the safety, resilience and security of cyberspace. Adopt a suitable posturing that can signal our resolve to make determined efforts to effectively monitor, deter and deal with cyber crime and cyber attacks and policy implementation by means of some actions by the government only, some action in the collaborative PPP mode, some actions by the private enterprises and the academia. So this national cyber security policy is available at the website of Ministry of Electronics and IT. And this is the national level guiding document in the domain of cyber security. We have the cyber crisis management plan at a national level to ensure 
that manipulation of critical function services in critical sector organization are brief, infrequent and manageable and cause least possible damage. So this plan help us to react to the cyber crisis, cyber incident and to build our cyber resiliency. The plan also help ministries, departments to drop their own contingency plan in case of a cyber attack or a cyber threat. To assist organization to put in place, this plan also assist organization to put in place mechanism to effectively deal with the cyber security crisis situation. In India, the, we have an Information Technology Act 2000 and Amendment 2008 and Rules. This is a law in India dealing with cyber crime and electronic commerce. Uh, the Act also aims to provide legal framework so that legal stand is accorded to all electronic records like a digital signature. The Act is said that unless otherwise agreed, an acceptance of contract may be expressed by electronic means of communication and shall have legal validity and enforceability. IT Act includes regulation of certifying authorities, legal recognition of digital signature, functions of Indian Computer Emergency Response Team, and cybercrime penalties and punishments. So the details and the act is available at the uh, meti.gov.in. Under Section 70B of Indian Information Technology Act, the certain designated certain as the national nodal agency to serve as a national agency to perform the following function in area of cyber security. So collection, analysis and dissemination of information on cyber incidents, forecast and alerts of cyber security incidents, emergency measures for handling cyber security incidents, coordination of cyber incident response activities, ISO guidelines, advisory, vulnerability notes and white papers relating to information security practices, procedures, prevention, response and reporting of cyber incident and the other function related to the cyber security. So these are the roles and responsibilities of the certain defined under the section 70B of the Information Technology Act. So certain is the basically national nodal agency to respond to the cyber threats. So type of a cyber security incidents what we have observing in the wild is the web defacement, web intrusion and propagation of malicious program and software, malicious code is in botnets, crimeware, rogue antivirus, data theft and data manipulation attack like identity theft, financial fraud, scanning and probing the targets, denial of service attack and distributed denial of service attack like flooding, social engineering scams, spam and targeted attacks especially on the government and critical sector organizations. The cyber security exercises we will be discussing this in the uh, detail uh, but the cyber security exercises is a kind of a simulated crisis simulated incidents where organizations learn from those uh, incidents simulated incident and their preparedness can be assessed and their posture can be improved. So again, this is website of the Indian Computer Emergency Response Team. There are a virus alert, advisories, and sort of a information related to the cyber security, which can be used by the organization to improve their cyber security posture and maintain the situational awareness. Here you can see there is a virus alert of serve helper malware. It's published in January 2019. And it's, uh, this virus, this malware is a backdoor. There is a cyber threat intelligence hunting and sharing. So proactively looking for the threat in information, threat intelligence from the internal sources, what the cert is analyzing and from the external feeds. And uh, then we are generating the indicators of a compromise and uh, that are shared with the organizations so that their devices, those organizations are better prepared to counter the cyber attack. Honeypots and sensor are deployed at a different label to collect the attacker methodology, attack vectors and motives of attackers. So there are basically two types of the honeypots, the research honeypot and production honeypot. 
So a research report is used to study about the tactics and techniques of attacker. It is used as a monitor to observe how an attacker is compromising a system. In production, Honeypot is used for detection and to protect organism by acting as a decoy system. So that Honeypot will act as a decoy system and the attackers are redirected to that, or lured to that, waste basically their time there and protect the organization's main and critical assets. CI is a chief information security officer. Guidelines are also released by Ministry of Electronics and IT and the key responsibilities and roles are defined there to help the chief information security officer to design their uh, cyber security plan uh, within our organization. If you go through uh, the some of the roles and responsibility, it's maintaining and updating the threat landscape for the organization on a regular basis. So basically, CISO is responsible for maintaining the situation awareness, what type of uh, threats, what type of uh, cyber incidents are happening and what can impact their organization. Establishing a security program and business continuity program and drafting the various security policy like a acceptable use policy or the user policies. Those policies need to be developed by the CISO and they have to implement a cyber security program preferably using the some standard or a framework. Ensuring review of the information security policy by internal or external subject matter experts that need to be reviewed. Establishing and reviewing the risk assessment methodology, how the risk assessment is done for the organization and selection of appropriate control for risk mitigation. And then there need to selection of a controls so that risk can be mitigated. Interacting with the regulatory bodies is a point of contact from organization to interact with the external agencies such as the Indian Computer Emergency Response Team. CSA is responsible for the log alert analysis and exception reporting, vulnerability assessment and penetration testing, web application security assessments, ensure that uh, software development lifecycle audit and periodic code reviews are done, should ensure there is no unsupported operating systems, Prescribed hardening guidelines, patch management guidelines, antivirus malware guidelines, no privilege access on endpoints, regular review of access privileges, acceptance configuration guidelines and procedures are properly implemented. These things need to be ensured by the CISO. Citizen customer data privacy to be ensured in case if citizen customer data is captured and maintained. This, this is very critical from the privacy point of view. Incident response plan. In case of some alert, some abnormal behavior or incident happen to the organization, then there must be incident response plan to deal with cyber crisis, contingency and disaster attack on the IT systems. In India, we are seeing the surge in the digital payments and for that uh, there are uh, these initiatives and guidelines are there for the secure digital payments like a secure mobile banking. 0071 these are the guidelines for mobile banking. How to securely do the mobile banking? These are the guidelines and uh, advisory from the certain. Safeguarding smartphones against cyber attacks, this can be seen in the certain advisory. Uh, there is a RBI notification on security and risk mitigation measures, technical audit of prepared payment instrument issuer. So, this is his RBI notification. So, so, how to consider in the technical audit. Awareness programs are conducted by government of India and cyber security frameworks and guidelines are also issued that can are available at the Ministry of uh, Electronics and IT website and certain website which can be used by organization to improve their cyber security preparedness. Uh, some of the things uh, like cyber security baseline controls which is having a five basic security controls, CIS 20 critical security controls are recommended for the organization to implement at their end to start with cyber security program and then they have to move to the new cyber security framework and implementation of uh, ISMS that is the information security management system. So if you see here the five controls, uh, basic security controls to start with the inventory of devices and software that need to be maintained by your organization. The administrative privileges should be controlled. It should not be distributed to all. The organizations should have the 
secure configuration template for hardware and the software should have in place malware defense, anti-malware solutions and the vulnerability and patch management. If there is a, any vulnerability that need to be detected and it should be patched. Similarly, the CS20 critical controls we will discuss in the details is there which can be the starting point for the organization. So these are the recommended practices to the organization to improve the cyber security. Training and awareness programs are there. There are technical trainings and workshops provided by CERT also. The details are available at the website. There is an information security education and awareness program by Ministry of Electronics and IT. That is the building awareness and training human resources who could take up research and development, develop indigenous solutions, software, secure and maintain various systems, including critical infrastructure, are key objective of this project. So in this session, we have seen different initiatives and programs in a cyber security in India. We have seen the discuss the national cyber security policy, cyber crisis management plan, incident response plan, guidelines for CI. So how an organization can use and use these services and programs to improve their cyber security postures. Thank you.